Look at that. Just squeaky clean. Oh my god. I thought that would be absolute shite. So I'm just draining the old fuel from this engine and the other one as well. The fuel that's inside these old motorcycles, uh, especially if they've been sitting a long time, get rid of it. You can use it to clean stuff. It's, it's a pretty good degreaser as well, but uh, just get rid of it. It's probably contaminated. It doesn't work well and uh, take it out. But this, this fuel actually looks pretty good. The intro could be worse, but yeah, this is worse. So this is gonna come off the daily lighter and we're gonna replace it. I'm gonna put that tank, the one that came off that one originally, and put it here. This is what's left of it. So, the other one is off now, the old one. Uh, let's drain that as well. Compared to the other one, I feel like there's never no motorcycle will run on this little little amount of fuel. So I just uh, drained the old tank, the tank that came on the bike, and I just want to show you the difference. <laughs> now, this is the fuel from um, this tank. This is the the one I got a long time ago. That's the fuel that came out of it. And it's been hanging here about a couple of months in the shed. And the tank is absolutely squeaky clean inside. Now, this is a tank that came with my daily rider. Uh, I don't know how long it's been sitting. The tank, after shaking it around, looks like this. This is what the fuel looks like. So no wonder it won't run properly. So bad fuel, good fuel. So I've drained the fuel from uh, both tanks, put the other one on the daily rider. But this thing is pretty nasty, so I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some vinegar in the tank and leave that for overnight to clean it up.
So I've done the tank, uh, rinse it out, I think eight times now. Um, and it's, the water's now clear. It's just got a little few pieces of flakes. But as you can see, because I'm using water, I don't know if you can see that, where's the camera? Well, there's rust starting immediately because it's bare metal, of course, and water. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some more vinegar uh, back in there and leave that overnight um, and then get the last out and dry it properly so it won't rust. And I'll probably put in some fuel, that's the easiest way. Yeah, so this is a new petcock for the for that tank, which is gonna go on this bike. And this is the filter slash that was inside the original one, so in that one to be honest. As you can see there's no there should be like this little grainy stuff in there. I don't know if you can see that, like this filter piece stuff, however you call that. That was like completely gone in this. It's just gone. <laughs> and it was totally eaten up and well, as you can see, totally crap. Save it for you to watch it, but I'm gonna dump it now. Over there. I've got this new one. Uh, it's not an original Honda thing, but it's a um, aftermarket, but it worked just fine. So I'm gonna put that on the tank and yeah, then that's ready to go. If you remember uh, in the intro video, uh, the owner said that the carbs were having problems. They were floating, uh, they were overflowing and stuff. But when you see the inside of that tank, uh, in the footage I showed you, uh, there's no wonder. There's probably stuff going through the filters for some reason. Uh, if there is a filter in there, uh, even. I haven't seen that. But there's no reason. Uh, there's, there's, it's... it's a, no. It's clear that there is a... It's pretty obvious that if you have a tank that is in that state, you're going to get into trouble. So the other tank, this one, that was like squeaky clean. It was a big surprise to me. So we're gonna swap that. Uh, I'm gonna leave a dent for what it is, because the dent's over here. Uh, just swap it, uh, yeah. See, uh, maybe after I've cleaned the carbs, because there's crap in there, obviously, in the fuel lines and stuff. Um, see if that fixes it. The tanks are now both cleaned out. They were completely like nice and shiny inside. I've um, put fuel in there to clean it out, clean them out. Uh, the first one was clean, of course, and I kept it nice and full of fuel. Uh, the second one you saw me rinsing out and doing out was clean when I stopped. I rinsed it out the last time, took out the vinegar, the last vinegar I put in, uh, rinsed it out quickly with water and then just added fuel Rinse it out with fuel again, uh, took that out, removed the fuel, and then put in some new fuel about halfway, I think. Now, the difference is quite uh, big, actually. I'm uh, going to show you that. So this is the fuel on the Daily Rider tank, which was, the tank was good to start with. As you can see, it's still really, really nice. Now, I had this filled up quite high, I think higher than, uh, than it is right now. As you can see, it's still really good. Now there's a big difference, and that's this rubber here on the fuel cap. This rubber is fairly okay. It's starting to show some signs of wear, as you can see with the little cracks. But the uh, cap on the other tank is a lot worse, as you can see. So it's got a lot of fuel, but if you look in the tank, it's really crusty again. So that is, that is uh, not okay. It's pretty bad. So I'm not done with this tank yet. So I think I'm gonna order a uh, new seal on this. Cause maybe there's too much oxygen getting in here. I don't know if that's the problem, but we are not done here yet. That's still a lot more crusty than I wanted it to be, expected it to be. Um, yeah, but this tank is uh, far from ready, 
but I came a lot in way and I'm just going to rinse that out again the vinegar and maybe use a different solution uh, to stop that and uh, maybe even coat it I've done that before in a video uh, put a link up here uh, to show you how I did that um, but as you can see it's it's not that straightforward um, main thing is keep the tank full of fuel as much as you can um, and that will stop any rust from starting but it's curious to see the difference between uh, that tank, which has been sitting a long time, and this tank, which has been sitting a long time, and going from really crusty to this. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, a lot of tank cleaning video this was, but it was a really important part of uh, this daily rider upgrade, or for any tank for that matter, uh, and motorcycle. Uh, the tank has to be as clean as you can because all the crap may come into your carbs, uh, cause issues and the carb is going to be the next video I think, uh, the work I did on that. Um, yeah, keep it clean and if you got any reason why that tank is still okay, well that tank isn't, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, maybe we can learn from each other. If you like what I did, Please subscribe, as always, and comment, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.